Edinburgh Castle is a historic fortress which, from its position on the Castle Rock, dominates the skyline of Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland. Archaeologists have established human occupation of the rock since at least the 2nd century AD, although the nature of the early settlement is unclear. Around 600 AD, after a year of feasting in the fortress, a band of warriors set out to do battle with the Angles. There has been a royal castle on the rock since at least the reign of David I in the 12th century, and the site continued at times to be a royal residence until 1633. From the 15th century, the castle's residential role declined, and by the 17th century it was principally used as military barracks with a large garrison. As one of the most important strongholds in the Kingdom of Scotland, Edinburgh Castle was involved in many historical conflicts, from the wars of Scottish independence in the 14th century to the Jacobite Rising of 1745. Research undertaken in 2014, identified 26 sieges in its 1,100-year-old history, giving it a claim to having been the most besieged place in Great Britain, and one of the most attacked in the world. Few of the present buildings predate the Lang siege of the 16th century when the medieval defences were largely destroyed by artillery bombardment. The most notable exceptions are St. Margaret's Chapel from the early 12th century, which is regarded as the oldest building in Edinburgh, the Royal Palace, and the early 16th century Great Hall. Its importance as a part of Scotland's national heritage was recognised increasingly from the early 19th century, and various restoration programmes have been carried out over the past century and a half. Today, Edinburgh Castle is Scotland's leading tourist attraction, and a chief element of the old and new towns of the Edinburgh UNESCO World Heritage Site. St. Trijuana's Chapel is situated in Restilrig near central Edinburgh. Saint Trijuana is said to have tore out her own eyes to thwart the unwanted attentions of a king of the Picts named Necton. Afterwards, she was associated with curing the blind, and other ride disorders. There has been a church at Restilrig as far back as 1178. It is not known whether the church was built because of Saint Trijuana, but it housed her relics, and her cult prospered under the patronage of James III of Scotland. He built a hexagonal royal chapel adjacent to the kirk, and endowed it of chaplaincy in 1477. Originally built on two levels, the surviving lower level of the hexagon was an undercroft for the chapel. The kirk was ordered to be removed in December 1560 at the time of the Scottish Reformation, but was rebuilt in 1836. Holyrood Park is a royal park in central Edinburgh. The park is associated with the Royal Palace of Holyrood House and was formerly a 12th century royal hunting estate. The park was created in 1541 when James V had the ground enclosed by a stone wall. Arthur's Seat is the main peak of the group of hills which form most of Holyrood Park. Artifacts have been found in the park indicating human activity in the Mesolithic, Neolithic and Bronze Age. The remains of four Iron Age forts are also present on Arthur's Seat, Salisbury Crags, Samson's Ribs and Dunsopy Crag. The religious association of the park is clear with the presence of St. Anthony's Chapel and Well, near St. Margaret's Lock, and St. Margaret's Well.
Legend relates that in 1127, while King David I was hunting, he was thrown from his horse after it had been startled by a stag with a glowing cross between its antlers. As an act of thanksgiving for his surviving his ordeal, David I founded Holyrood Abbey on the site in 1128. The Parliament of Scotland met at the Abbey many times, and there is evidence that Holyrood was being used as a royal residence by 1329. Its position close to Edinburgh Castle meant that it was often used as lodgings by Scotland's kings. In the mid-15th century the kings of Scotland increasingly used the accommodation at Holyrood for secular purposes, and between 1498 and 1501, James IV constructed a royal palace at Holyrood, adjacent to the abbey. Throughout the 16th and 17th centuries, Holyrood Palace was further extended and repaired. However in 1650 during a visit by Oliver Cromwell, there was a fire, and the palace was abandoned until the restoration of Charles II in 1660. By 1679 the palace had been reconstructed, largely as we see it today. In the 19th century, Prince Albert took interest in the development of the immediate surroundings of the palace and Holyrood Park. In the early 20th century, the palace was further improved, with central heating, modern kitchens, new bathrooms and a lift. The lands of Craig Miller were granted to the monks of Dunfermline Abbey by King David I in the 12th century. In 1342, King David II granted two-thirds of the lands of Craig Miller to the Preston family. In 1374 the remaining lands were granted by King Robert II, and Sir Simon Preston began work on the Tower House which was completed by 1425. In 1511, Craig Miller was erected into a barony, and the outer courtyard was built around this time. In September 1517, during an outbreak of the plague in Edinburgh, the infant James V of Scotland moved to safety at Craig Miller. The family chapel within the outer court was first recorded in 1523, and later that century, Queen Mary stayed at Craig Miller twice in 1563 and 1566. In 1660, the castle was sold out of the Preston family, to the Gilmore family. The Gilmores built the West Range for more accommodation. However, the family moved out of the castle in the early 18th century to the nearby Inch House. Craig Miller Castle then fell into disrepair. It was ruined by 1775 and became a tourist attraction, visited by Queen Victoria in 1886. Finally, it fell into state care in 1946 and is now one of the best-preserved medieval castles in Scotland. <laughs>